I'm Harper, and this is my show, Harper Bazaar, coming to you from the super hip city of Silver Lake, California. Okay, my guest this week is Charles. Charles is a magician. Uh, I, I'm actually a writer, screenplays. Of course. What did I say? A magician. Well, that's certainly not the same thing, is it? No, it's not the same thing. So, Charles, your wife just left you. Uh, yeah. Why? I'm sure our viewers want to know. Well, we are, how did you know? I never liked her. My wife, you knew her? I followed her once. From the 7-Eleven back to your house. Why would you follow my wife? It's just something we do with the society. We pick a person from the neighborhood, a non-virgin, and monitor her movements. Why? So that we can make entries into our journal. Why? Because otherwise we'd forget if we don't write it down. No, I mean, why would you be following my wife or anybody at all? Indeed. So tell us about your latest screenplay. Okay, well, it's a uh, dark, apocalyptic vision Where of the future. Where do you stand on bathing in blood? You mean blood is a metaphor? No. I mean filling the bathtub with fresh blood and bathing in it, in the tub. Uh, what kind of blood? Well, that's a strange thing to say. Is it? So sorry. Is that a thing? Is what a thing? Bathing in blood. This is Silver Lake, Charles. Anything can happen. So where did you go to school? Uh, St. Augustine, just up the road. St. Augustine? You went there too? No. There's this thing between me and the Catholic Church. It's kind of personal. Old wounds, if you know what I mean. Okay. So what animal best describes you? If you were an animal, which animal would you be? An animal? A cheetah, I think. A cheetah killed my husband. In Africa. Oh my God, what was he doing in Africa? Well, that's their natural habitat. No, I mean your husband. What was he doing in Africa? He never told us. He was killed upon arrival, you know. Attacked. Ripped to shreds and... Made a meal of... Wow, Africa. Yes. In Africa. Not here in Silver Lake by the LA River or anything like that. He died over there. In Africa.
So do you want to talk about my screenplay or, you know, my writing and stuff? If you wish. Well, when you invited me, you uh, said it's because I'm a writer. Did I? Yes. That was such a long time ago. It was yesterday. Indeed. Do you by any chance smell something foul? Like something old or rotten, like flesh decomposing? No. Good. Tell me, have you ever been sodomized? Sodomized? No. Are you sure? Yes, I'd remember. Indeed. Why, do I give off some sort of vibe or something? I mean... No. Just a routine question my audience always wants to know. So your script. Tell us about it. Okay. Well, it's the story of a young white woman, a ballet teacher. She gets assigned to this uh, inner city school. Lots of troubled kids, uh, blacks, Hispanics. Uh, at first, Everybody is hostile, but she connects to them by teaching them ballet. Wow. What an inspirational story. Thank you. Original. Fresh. That's what we need more of right now in this country. White women teaching ballet to blacks. Thank you. You know, we're, um, I'm sorry. Are you kidding or something? I, I can't tell. Not at all. I wish there were more writers like you. I wish you would never die when taking a walk along a dark alley one night. Well, that's sweet. Yeah, you know, as an artist, uh, I feel it's my job to break down the walls of race, religion, or ethnicity. Should I grow bangs? I'm sorry? My bangs. Should I grow them? I'm, well, I'm, it would become you, certainly. You look charming when you're befuddled. <sighs> I'm a witch, you know. Okay. A witch. And I cast spells. Oh. I cast spells on people by peeing in their tea. <clears throat> Sorry, I sound like you, you said you pee in the tea. I do. I have guests. I brew some tea. I put a smidgen of pee in it. And once they drink it, they're under my spell. That's how we get people to join the society. When you say guests, do you, I mean, personal guests or guests on this show? On the show? You'll be surprised to know I don't have any personal friends. Wow, that's just, uh, okay. Before I forget. Yeah. On your way out, a man may approach you. About 60, one-legged, missing two front teeth, Orange County accent. Orange County accent? Yes, he has an Orange County accent. Never mind. What about him? He's my landlord. Well, landlord slash producer slash boyfriend. If he asks... Tell him you were here making love to me. I don't, I don't feel comfortable saying that. Please! He is a very insanely jealous man. Wouldn't that make him more jealous? Oh, God, no. 
I mean, he's jealous as a producer. As a boyfriend, he's pretty open. I'm squeezing him from the show. Okay, so are we done, or? Did I ask you the sodomy question? Yes, we explored that. Okay. Well, thank you, Charles, for coming in and drinking tea with me. My guest tonight was Charles, our neighborhood writer. And now I leave you with a 23-minute video of Charles sleeping in his bed. Good night.